fish kill in Biscayne Bay, miles and miles of dead fish off Miami. But what's behind it all? Our Louis Aguirre is live there to show us. Louis. We're talking about the crown jewel of the Magic City, our beautiful backyard, Biscayne Bay. Look how beautiful this shot is right here. But if you look closely, you'll see something far more sinister. Thousands and thousands of dead fish stretching for miles from 135th Street all the way south to the Venetian Causeway. Scientists very alarmed. They fear that this is a sign of what they've been warning about for years. Tuesday morning, a lone stingray swims through a sea of dead fish. Thousands in every shape, size, and species stretching for miles on Biscayne Bay from as far north as Keystone Marina off 135th Street all the way south to Edgewater near the Venetian Causeway. Look at all the fish on this board right now. It's covered with fish. Crazy. Puffer fish, seahorses, eels, stingrays. Catherine Mikesell was going for a swim in the bay near Morningside Monday morning when she first noticed the devastating sight. We just started like literally picking up fish and, and, and pushing fish away from us. And we're like, oh my goodness, that something is wrong. Environmentalists already fearing the worst. And this is it. This is what we've been warning about. And we're starting to see um, fish die. We've already seen our seagrass die. Um, and this is the big red flashing arrow that we have a problem. Environmentalists believe Biscayne Bay is at a crucial tipping point. For decades, oversaturated with devastating nutrients coming from fertilizer runoff, sewage breaks, leaking septic tanks, untreated storm drain runoff, plastic pollution, all of this creating a perfect storm that is literally killing our bay. Environmental watchdog group Miami Waterkeeper on the case, taking samples that FWC will analyze to pinpoint what is causing this and where exactly on the bay the fish kill is happening. Why is this happening? Is there something that we can know by coming out here and looking at all these different parameters and sending the water samples? Maybe they can tell us. We are beyond the time to act. Um, something terrible has already happened, but we need to prevent this from becoming an emergency across even more of the bay. Something terrible has already happened right now. The goal is to pinpoint exactly where this fish kill originated, even though there are dead fish stretching for miles. The hope is that it's actually happening in one section of Biscayne Bay. This is a multi-agency effort. We have a Miami Waterkeeper. We have Derm out here taking samples. Everything will be tested by the FWC. Those results will be ready in five days. Right now, the preliminary hypothesis is that there is a lack of oxygen in the water and that is literally a strangling in the fish and the seagrass that is in this ecosystem. And that could be a sign of a toxic algae bloom, which of course would be devastating to Biscayne Bay. But again, Biscayne Bay at a crucial tipping point, if corrective action is not taken immediately, we will lose Biscayne Bay. Calvin and Nicole, back to you. Yeah, so there is still time to correct this issue, hon Louis. We hope so, yeah. Uh, we, need, we need the political will to make the change happen. Our Louis Gary live for us. Louis, thanks a lot.